Welcome to this episode of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I just want to cover out this pole mount that I designed. So one of the pieces in my basement workshop is I've got a number of these stanchion poles. And I thought, what a wasted amount of space here. So what if I could attach something to those poles? So one of the things I did is went to OpenSCAD and designed this model right here. So kind of a long story short, obviously the center piece here is where it cinches to the pole and then basically I'm using two quarter 20 openings which can be adjusted um, here and, and just using two quarter 20 bolts to do the cinching. Now what I've done is I've created a blank front face here and when I print these I use a fair amount of infill to make these rather sturdy and, and a good amount of shell so I'm printing these on my CR10 with a 0.6 nozzle and I'm making a shell or creating a shell of about 0.12 millimeters in thickness so I've got something to bite to in combination with the the infill of typically up around somewhere between 35 to 50 percent again it creates a lot of internal structures um, which you can take a wood screw and, and screw into and then what I've done in a couple cases is I've used the uh, actual pegboard creator to create pegboard uh, which I've screwed to this and then mounted to the pole and then put uh, pegboard holders on it you can do a number of different things with this so it's not just limited to to pegboard so it can attach a lot of different pieces and because of the surface area of the inside mount here um, it cinches very nice to the pole so it does a really good job of holding weight I don't know quite what the maximum it can hold obviously and this is going to depend a little bit upon the plastic you use which I highly recommend uh, pet G for uh, but so you'll have to kind of estimate that but I found this very handy I've printed out you know probably a dozen of these and to mount various things to the poles to hold cords and tools and things like that so I thought this was a neat idea I figured I'd share with you guys so the uh, setup is rather easy over here we have the pole diameter which in my case is 77 millimeters um, we have the mount thickness which how how thick do I want to make this and since it's going to be a bit load bearing I went with 20 millimeters so I'm a little short of an inch so mounting tail how far do I want to tail this off the height of the bracket yeah, I made that uh, 25 so basically an inch tall uh, then the length of the tabs which are these tabs over here I've made them 30 and again so you can adjust all this to kind of really fit your needs and then my cinch gap is five millimeters that's this opening that I've created here uh, to kind of say you know how much gap do I want to have and, and again you want to keep this pretty tight you don't want to have uh, a perfect you know tight fit where they're coming together because then that's going to slip a little bit you want it to, to, to bend in a little bit so I find five millimeters in this configuration works well uh, block thickness which is this piece over here I've set to 25 to give me some uh, you know good amount of material to grip into the face of the block I've made 101 uh, 101 millimeters again so I can get a good surface area and then my bolt diameter I'm making a seven millimeters because what I'm doing is I'm passing this through now a big tip here I use washers on both sides of this to distribute the load so I'm using a quarter 20 bolt which is about 6.2 millimeters and then I'm using washers on both sides both both the hex uh, head of the bolt as well as the nut side to disperse some of the load across a greater area plastic the rest of this is pretty much simple as far as code so I'm not going to spend really any time going through that the code will be out on the open SCAD site you can get that I'll have a link to that down below I have also got the base STL which is you know at least here in, in Michigan is fairly common size post out on uh, Thingiverse but if you do want to customize it hey grab the code make use of it and hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did hey give it a big thumbs up be sure to subscribe I put out a lot of content around OpenSCAD and we'll see you guys in the next video where we design something else cool in OpenSCAD. Cheers.